domestic violence after posting images of intimate photos? Comment below. Let us know what you think regarding the subject matter at hand. Let's see right here. Oscar Leonel, Leonel asks, sometimes with my girlfriend, we uh, film ourselves having sex. And uh, when we went on vacation, a friend of mine and his girlfriend stayed to take care of our house. On the third day of our vacation, I was looking for porn videos on the computer and we saw one of our videos on a porn channel. My girlfriend got mad and wanted to hit me. I defended myself and she screamed so loud that the hotel called the police and I was arrested. Well, here's the deal. First of all, as long as you were, it was consensual, you were over the age of 18 and you were recording yourself having sex, that's perfectly legal, that's no problem. The problem is that your buddy uploaded those videos and he could be charged with uh, essentially a form of invasion of privacy because he's basically it's public exposure of private fact, shouldn't be doing that. Now, in terms of domestic violence, if your girlfriend is attacking you, well, she should be charged with a violation of California Penal Code Section 243E1, which is a misdemeanor that carries up to one year in county jail. Now, if you're being attacked by your girlfriend or wife, you can only use the reasonable amount of force necessary to avoid that you suffer additional harm. One thing that I've seen that has been happened very common is maybe um, a woman will attack a man, a man will grab her arms, and I've seen situations where guys have actually headbutted girls, broken their noses, done horrible things. Well, that's not gonna be considered self-defense. You took it too far, now you're gonna be charged with a violation of 245A4, which is assault uh, with brute force, and you're gonna be charged with domestic violence. It's a felony that carries up to four years state prison under California Penal Code Section 273.5. So it's really, really necessary to know exactly what went down, how extreme was your force, how did you defend yourself? Because you can only use the minimal amount of force necessary to avoid that you suffer additional harm. Regardless, if you'd like to learn more about criminal defense here in the San Francisco Bay Area, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Law Offices of Cross and Associates, and feel free to ask questions in the comment section below so that we may respond in the future with more videos for you. But if you've been accused of a crime here in the San Francisco Bay Area and need representation, call us now for free consultation at 1-800-862-7677. On our next video, we're going to be discussing punching a minor while driving.